When we first get into fashion, we end up with fits like this. It's a little sloppy. And that's alright because nobody learns how to cook the perfect dish right away. Just like when it comes to fashion, it takes time, patience, and learning to go from this to something a little more tasteful. So today, I'm going to give you 7 reasons why you're not dressing well. Welcome back to the channel everyone and I just gotta say, if you're doing any of these, don't feel bad, okay? You know why? Because I've done the same and still continue to do so. So really, I'm just roasting myself because I'm not perfect. So come and join me with the first, which is to go ahead and wear the wrong pair of socks. That's a good way to hurt your fit. You see, I've done this as recently as last year. Okay, so take a look at this fit right here. There's just something off about it and it's those damn socks. Look what happens when I change them to match the tone of the sneakers. Makes a difference, right? So yeah, that's just a general rule of thumb. Make sure your socks match the sneakers and your pants as well. So when it comes to black pants, you can go either way. I just think it depends on the sneaker. But you can also be intentional with it if you want to add some contrast. But for the most part, light pants or lighter colored sneakers go with white socks. And black pants or black sneakers black socks. Now the next habit to hurt an outfit is to continue rocking that statement piece with another statement piece or a graphic tee. That's the best thing you can do. Okay, so when you do this, the patterns are just, they're just clashing and in a not so good way. Because they're clashing, they just kind of take away from each other and neither of them end up in the spotlight. Here's a good example. I'm gonna toss on my tie-dye pants with this patchwork jacket from Fundamental and you see there's just too much going on. And here's how it looks when I throw on a graphic tee underneath the same jacket. Again, too much is going on. So instead, just make sure that you allow the statement piece to do its thing. Be the statement. Alright, so y'all saw how atrocious that last fit was with this piece. There's too many clashing patterns. So here in this fit, I'm simplifying it, keeping everything black and white. I kind of think of it like the, the Freedom Tower down here. It represents Lower Manhattan. You know, it's a memorial, a tourist hotspot. The clashing patterns, I think, would be like placing the Empire State Building right next to the Freedom Tower. It would really take away from it and both of them wouldn't really shine. So simplify your fit with simple shapes and colors that'll support the statement and let it shine. So here I am in the summer with those same tie-dye pants, keeping the colors light and simple and everything just works, it feels cohesive and nothing's really trying to take away from each other. And now it's the same with the fundamental jacket. I'm just sticking to black and white and letting the jacket shine. And I've talked about this in my statement pieces video and I use the example of Rihanna's anti-album. So that album has a clean slate of white and grayish, a little bit of black, but you have that pop of red and gold. That's the statement. And that's also why the album cover looks so great. Now I've seen a ton of clashing patterns and graphics that actually look great. Of course there are exceptions out there but for most of your fashion journey it's not the move until it is the move and i think you'll know when because a lot of it comes down to confidence think of this like yay's graduation album or kid cuddy's album covers that's exactly what i'm talking about you can make it work now the next bad habit is to uh continue rocking that bad haircut yeah i'm talking about me this is me very recently to be honest a bad haircut or hairdo can honestly make or break an outfit now i'm kind of in the midst of figuring out what to do with my hair whether to grow it out get a buzz cut i'm not sure yet but i think i'm starting to figure out thank you all for grilling me in the comments so if you're going through this right now find yourself some headwear that you like a beanie a cap doesn't matter and then also study your hair type there's like 1c 2a 2b figure out what yours is that info is going to help your barber or if you self-cut like me and i'd also say invest in a good comb hair products, blow dryers, and all that. Because as much as I love beanies like this one from Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. There are just some fits that deserve a good head of hair, kind of like this one. Now the next habit to stick to if you want to have more bad fits is to just don't accessorize. Go walk out the door with no accessories, no jewelry, no headwear, no slings or frames. One of the best things you can do to have a bad outfit. Okay, so let's break that down. Here's a fit without accessories versus with accessories. I cannot tell you how much of a difference that makes. Like, just be honest with me for a sec. If you walk into your local ramen joint and get yourself a bowl of tonkatsu ramen and all it came with was noodles and soup, that would not be cool. Even if it had the best broth, the most chewy noodles, the presentation would just look bland. And also those toppings of seaweed, egg, cha siu and all that, that provides texture and taste the same way jewelry adds texture and taste to a fit. You also got a scarf, beanie, frames, and all of that just ties everything together to make your fit feel complete. So for the accessories, I recommend a beanie or a cap which will provide texture, color, and it's just perfect for a bad hair day. Jewelry is just a different material that you don't see on most clothes. A scarf is like the beanie just in a different area of your fit, provides color, texture, and layering opportunities. The extended belt is kind of like the scarf but for your waist. And finally, eyewear. This is just jewelry for the face. Like if I take it off right now, the fit looks fine but it's just different with the with the frames on. And if you tie all of these accessories together, 
you've got a heavy hitter of a fit. And if you're looking for quality handcrafted jewelry, well, you were in luck because I just designed my own jewelry collection with Lupin. So I guess you can say this video is brought to you by me and Lupin. And I designed three pieces, a ring, a cuff, and a necklace. And this is all part of the Ascend collection. Let's start off with the necklace. So every piece is handcrafted with a premium 925 sterling silver in Seoul, Korea. And the pendant has the character that means to move forward, progress, or ascend. And so I picked out this character because it comes from the phrase Dunbo, which is something my parents would always tell me all the time, which means to keep moving forward and improve. So we slap that on this pendant and it's surrounded by a black onyx, feels super premium, and it really allows the character to stand out. And the chain on this necklace, I'm telling you, has a certain shine to it that just stands out really nicely. And it just looks and feels luxurious. Now let's talk about the ring. When you get one of these, you'll immediately feel the weight to it. We kept it a simple shape with the character engraved in the corner. And a ring is one of those jewelry pieces that will always be visible visible on a fit. So if you get a ring, you want it to be something that stands out. And finally, we have the metal cuff. So this cuff comes in one size and is one of the most limited items of the collection. And because it is a thinner cuff, you want to be very careful with it. You don't want to bend it too much or it'll be hard to bend back. And a really cool detail about this cuff is we have a send engraved underneath. So that message always sticks with you every time you put it on. And if you take a look at the cuff, there's actually these little steps because this piece was inspired by staircases. You know, it's something you take steps to move up, move forward. And staircases has always been a go-to for fit picks with me. So those are the three pieces of the collection. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. This is something I've been working on for most of the year, hence why the, the videos have slowed down a little bit, but I'm back on it and I'm excited to share this story with you and these pieces. If you guys want to pick any of these up, I'll leave it all linked in the description. You guys can use code FLYWITHJOHNNYTIGHT to get a hefty discount on these items. And I just want to be fully transparent. The cost of goods has gone up, so the price of these items are a little bit higher. And if you can't pick anything up, no sweat, don't worry about it. But if you are interested, this is a great gift if you want to treat yourself or your partner. Anybody can wear this and I really want to thank you guys for making this happen. If you want to support, click that link in the description. Back to the video. So the next habit is to keep on walking outside your house with dog fur and wrinkled clothes. The best, that's the best way to ruin a fit. Come on guys, I think everybody knows this. So I'd recommend investing in a steamer. I really like this one. This is a travel steamer that folds just like that. You can take this whenever you travel. You'll never have wrinkled clothes again because when you pack your clothes, they're always gonna get wrinkled whether you roll them or not. So this is always my go-to and invest in a lint removing tool. That can be a lint roller or a dog fur removing tool. Now, another habit to do is throw on a bunch of different colored pieces and just roll with it. Okay, seriously, why do you think most products or logos have a certain color combo to it? Because it was intentional. They didn't just slap a bunch of different colors together and got lucky. They studied color theory. Now that's a little bit too much to dive deep into with this video, but the best thing you can do is to look at products that you already own and try that color combo on a fit. Like take a look at this coffee bag. Resemble any characters that you know, that's intentional. This keyboard with the grayscale colors and a pop of color, intentional. So yeah, maybe try that on a fit and you might find something nice. That's a great place to start. Okay, so here's a fit inspired by that same coffee bag. I don't own a sand color jacket. So instead we're gonna follow its color scheme and go with it as the base of the fits. As you can see, we've got the olive green pants right here and the sand colored shirt. And like I said, I don't own a sand colored jacket. So instead, we're gonna keep the rest of the fit neutral. We've got black and gray, but I'm gonna use this orange beanie to complement the green of the pants. I just think that's a cool colorway. You're gonna have your own favorite color combos. And so that's just kind of a hack if you don't own certain colored pieces. Just use it as a base of your fits and then keep the rest of your fit very neutral. But to really maximize your understanding, study what color theory is. Learn about complementary colors, analogous colors, monochromatic colors. Once you know all of that jargon, you'll be good to go. The last habit to stick to to really hurt your fits is to stick with all black colors, stick with all slim fit clothes or all oversized clothes, and that's it for the rest of your life. So let me break that down. There's nothing inherently wrong with that, but there's also nothing inherently wrong with a little bit of contrast. You see, I like all black too, but I like it with hints of contrast, whether that be a white shirt underneath or something like this shirt from Uniqlo with a checkered white contrast. You'd still say that that's an all black piece, even though there's some contrast to it, right? Exactly, that's all I'm saying. Like I mentioned earlier, being intentional with your crew socks will help emphasize the contrast on your fit. And so now let's talk about sizing. Only slim fit clothes or even only oversized clothes, like I said, I think that would get boring over time. So for example, you can contrast those wider fit pants with a slim fit tank top. And you can still stick to another oversized layer because you still have that slimming contrast of the tank that still peeks out a bit. Either way, I just think a contrast or a juxtaposition of anything just makes fashion much more fun. And that's it, y'all. I've done every single one of these, made all these mistakes, nothing wrong with it. Just take this as advice for your fashion journey. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, follow me on my socials, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, deuces.